Hello everyone, welcome to this week's sound off. It is your host with the most, Ricardo here, trying to bring you the news that you need to know and a bunch of a little fun stuff. So why don't we get started right away, huh? Um, well, the three headlines that happened over this week, one particularly being one that I've kind of been excited for, would be that Crunchyroll is uh, just announced recently that they started a new program and event site, um, which is powered by Crunchyroll. I mean, it's not the original, but but this new program partnership is between Crunchyroll and a bunch of other conventions. Uh, basically they say that they're going to be doing um, kind of like their own premium live streaming uh, of certain events, kind of again, kind of similar to what we're doing, but um, I guess it's kind of give you early access to certain things like, I guess, trailers, um, products, you know, that, that most even convention goers only get to see. Um, there isn't really a specific as far as price and really what the benefits of being a member are. But um, we do have a link in the description down below with a little bit more information on that. So obviously once we know what's going on, we will let you know what's going on. And secondly, there is a new cosplay talent agency that just launched in Los Angeles. And the name of that is Cospre, or Cospre, I don't know. It's uh, actually launched, uh, I want to say the last couple months. And what they're doing is obviously like, you know, like they're... You know, mostly designed to get a bunch of cosplayers together, people who are interested in cosplaying, and then uh, helping them find, be kind of representative for events. So, like, say, video games, comics, things of that nature. Um, let's see. And it's going to be far-reaching as far as Asia. Um, with that being from here, Europe, Asia, anything in between. So, and then the CEO, Reiko Kondo, says... Cosplay offers a vital means to bring a brand of life and its application reinforces enthusiasm and a passion for a particular property and also offers a fun way for fans and visitors to interact with a live character. Creativity is at the core of cosplay and cosplay was founded as a means to bring talent and artists together and offers a means for them to pursue their passion professionally and for many different types of clients to explore how a custom tailored cosplay presentation can add a unique aspect to support their brand or project. So, if you're not familiar with what that basically means, it's like, you know, like, if we have, you know, there's a bunch of talented people throughout the world who really kind of want to show off their dad talent and in a way that they feel uh, they would want to. So, with the talent agency, they kind of find uh, something fits to your experiences and obviously, you know, what profile you have, um, if you will, to be towards that. So, um, that's something new that, that's never been done before, so hopefully it launches very well. Um, and then the third headline of this week is that San Diego Comic Con is, is going to be opening a comic museum in San Diego in 2018. So, and that's going to be in the, in Balboa Park, which is previously the Sports Museum, San Diego Hall of Champions. Um, and then what they're doing is that they're kind of teaming up with San Diego Comic Con to kind of bring a, um kind of like a museum, like a, like a little exhibit, talk about like, you know, nerd culture, uh, popular culture, uh, like sci-fi, things of that nature. Um, so, I mean, there's really not too much information as of yet, but uh, once again, obviously we know, we will let all you guys know, so trust us on that. Um, and then our new sound off picture, or this week's sound off picture, last week rather, is that who between who would win in a fight between Godzilla and the Dragon Zord from Power Rangers? And a couple of you actually answered um, on Instagram. We have Dragon Zord all the way, and then Go Go Godzilla. And then on our Facebook, a couple of you actually a couple of you said it also. So once again, it's kind of kind of an even even thing. Um, I kind of would have to say Godzilla just because of the fact that this, that, they're talking about a nuclear, uh, basically a walking bomb, as opposed to Teenager's Attitude, so I don't know who'd win. Alright, and then our concept of the week for, for Tip Tuesday is uh, limit what you say on social media. Um, we're, our view on it is more do you feel like you would have to do you feel like you know having a persona on social media representing you uh, as a cosplayer or as like an artist or anything of that nature uh, outweighs you having you know wanted to say what you really want to say 
uh, and not really caring about who, you know, what do you think, anybody thinks. So, while we try to be as professional as, because we all have our own opinions, we all have obviously our opinions we want to say, and us having, you know, like a social media platform gives us that freedom to be able to do it without any, I guess, repercussions in a sense. But do you be most people feel like being a professional kind of outweighs that? So, um, overall, just you know, like, uh, do what you feel like doing is we're trying to get at, but just you know, in a way that you could still be looking like a professional if that's really what your thing is. Uh, and on a much more gruesome note, haha, <laughs> segue, um, is our cosplay of the week, which is a zombie. Uh, like, I was kind of part of a group for uh, Walking Dead. The cosplayer name is Zombie Schnitz on Instagram. Hopefully, I said that properly. Uh, first of all, amazing detail for prosthetics and just. I'm a fan of zombie movies. I love George Romero movies, uh, Fulci movies, things of that nature. Just having to see somebody who actually puts as much love and dedication as the films do, and especially with the amazing, amazing, amazing special effects. Uh, definitely give him a chance to, you know, check him out. And uh, it was also the, the photographer was Rick Courier, who's actually one of our really, really good friends. So definitely give him a like and tell him that we sent you. So, and then for our hero cosplay, Geisha V is our uh, hero of cosplay this week. So mostly because of the fact that for a very long time, um, not including myself and a bunch of other friends, uh, we've followed her for years uh, just because of the fact that she's very big on promoting... Uh, kind of an equality in cosplay. She's nothing but a sweetheart every single time I, I've met her and some people met her and just kind of really spreading cosplay positivity. So as of this week like for this week, uh, Geisha V, you are our hero of of cosplay. Um, and for our page model uh, segment, we have NPC Cosplay, which is fantastic group of uh, people, fantastic cosplayers. Um, I think my most recent favorite cosplays of them was when they did uh, Resident Evil. When was like I think uh, Skittles was uh, Claire, and then everybody else was like I think it was like I forget who was Rebecca, and then oh speaking of uh, check out Skittles' uh, uh, Alloy cosplay from Horizon Zero Dawn, which is phenomenal. To the point where even uh, the video game you know who like uh, the developer actually kind of like really really liked their stuff. So definitely catch them out. They have on they have on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, uh, Twitter, YouTube. So. Go do it. And then for actually for our photo shoots that we have done recently uh, was Regeneration Who in Baltimore. And then once again, uh, Ernie shot with our favorite, 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 favorite uh, geek belly dance group, Antipod Dance. Antipod, oof, I feel bad for saying that wrong. Uh, definitely, you know, they're <laughs> amazing, talented dancers. Um, they're also a bunch of sweethearts to Ernie. They, like, if they, if, if Ernie wasn't enough of our of a dad already in the in, in for our con group, he they kinda he's big papa, so <laughs> there you go, kinda blowing your spot up. Um and then for our social media post, uh for our dealer spotlight for this week is gonna be Big Sign FX, who actually uh just because of that Juan and myself and a bunch of other people there like big Overwatch nerds. Uh, he does a bunch of little uh, kind of chibi style Overwatch stickers, charms, things of that nature. Um, I mean, I've, I've, I know he does, they do a bunch of other stuff, but um, definitely check them out. Uh, they are, I mean, well, particularly because of that, I'm also a 76 main and also a Lucio main, so I obviously have my own bias towards it. So that's really, really good. And then... For our Music uh, Monday, we have our DSP cosplay shoot from the Kennedy Center. Uh, which, actually, from what I've seen, it's just it's a bunch of uh, really, really, really detailed cosplays. Uh, so, obviously, I, I'm not even going to say me talking about it, I'm not going to do enough justice. So definitely, once again, take a look at what we can <laughs> with the video. And see for yourself. Um, for our watching Wednesday is uh, I went to go see Logan. Actually, went to see a couple days ago, and I talk about a little bit of review there. Very brief. Try to keep it. It's very short, just mostly because of the fact that a lot of it really has to do with a lot of spoilers. But let me say, I was literally at the edge of my seat from 
beginning to end because it's a perfect way for uh, Hugh Jackman to really close out Wolverine and just it's, it's really good I also really really love uh, X-23 uh, just because of the fact that I like, you know like it's intense so if you didn't watch Logan go do it do yourself a favor it's really really good and then for our throwback Thursday is uh, New York Anime Festival 2007 the Hari Hari Yukai dance which if you haven't watched the melancholy of Hari Haruhi Suzumiya um, you back around that time that was kind of like the popular thing kind of like Carmel dancing was a thing so you could see a bunch of Haruhi cosplayers and just anybody who joins in just you know knows it kind of gets to kind of get involved with it so it's fun it's a fun little thing uh, for our feature Friday is our Katsukan 2017 review with Chrissy and Shannon. So they kind of go a little bit more detail as far as what uh, was really different this year than the previous years, uh, what they enjoyed, what they kind of didn't enjoy. But I mean, it's really hard to like not like Katsukan. Just it's, but you know, watch the video and then that we could see how what we think about it. Um, for our Saturday skit. Uh, which is actually really, really good, is the San Diego Comic-Con Masquerade Best in Show Trophy Award for the 2009 entry of Alphonse's Mucha's The Seasons, which, if you haven't seen it, it's basically personified seasons, like fall, winter, uh, spring, um, summer, and these girls do a very, very good job with each, uh, which each season outfit. It's gorgeous, so good props to them. They do a phenomenal, phenomenal job, so... Um, for our convention update for us, for the SPOV, our cosplay page model, Tony X Tempers, will be at Kogarakan in Edison, New Jersey, on April 8th. And then after that, um, myself and one of our page models, uh, Ari Moon Cosplay, will be at LA Geek, uh, which is in, I believe, Ronkonkoma. Uh, and then our sound off picture of this week is this is. Whose line is it? Uh, kind of style thing where you say things you can say to DM, but not at your at a boss at work. Uh, I guess if I had to start off with one, I would have to say I don't think I could. I don't think I could punch myself in that hole as hard as I can, or I don't think I could suplex an ant into the ground, sir. Something like that. You're all bad. Don't listen to me. And, but but however. Please do listen to me. Uh, the fact that obviously, once again, uh, check us out on our social media pages. Uh, we uh, we are on in the YouTube, Instagram, uh, Tumblr, uh, Periscope, and uh, obviously Facebook at under the fans POV. So please give us a like and just uh, be our friend because we need friends. With that, our uh, the boss lady herself, Chrissy, will be hosting next week. Uh, and until then, this has been recorded with the Fans POV for Sound Off, and I'll see you guys next time.